Hello everybody, it's Jason and Beth, um, the real Jason and Beth, not the Avatar version this year. Hi everybody, Jason Manning's Avatar here. We are now fully high tech, but we just wanted to get together and thank you for participating in the first year of the professional development on the teaching channel. Yes, and we had a great first year. We had 10 teach teams, a lot of exciting work took place, and we're hoping uh, to get way more participation this year. And hopefully, as you view this promotional video, you'll be excited to participate uh, in a Choose Your Own Adventure plan this year. Teach Teams is an opportunity, a professional development opportunity for teachers to get together, uh, videotape themselves, and then offer each other warm and cool feedback uh, using the Teach Team platform. They also have the opportunity to view pro some professional videos of excellent instructional strategies. Teach Teams, what it does is it opens the door for teachers to be able to view other instructional strategies happening in different classrooms. Uh, it's also an opportunity for teachers to be reflective. So we participated in Teach Teams Level 101. And it was a sort of a follow your own adventure. You got to pick from various menu items, um, different activities after uploading your videos of yourself. Yes, and it was kind of paced nicely so that everybody got to do the activities at their own pace and everybody made sure that they got everything done in a timely manner and if, if you didn't like what was on the menu, you could even choose to do whatever you really wanted to do. So the teach teams that, uh, that I've been a part of are not run by the administrators. It is totally teacher driven. Um, nobody tells you what to do. Nobody tells you who you should be with. You can form your own teach team. Um, we've created a team among, uh, among three, four teachers from different buildings, but you could join a teach team with teachers in your own building. You could join a teach team with teachers from different subjects within your building. Um, so it's totally driven by you. It's totally driven by your colleagues. So not only get, you get to see your colleagues teach, but you have to see yourself teach and almost self-correct yourself. The first year of our uh, Teach Teams Choose Your Own Adventure plan, we offered our teachers two plans, which was Novice 101 and Advanced 201. But we are excited that for this school year, we are going to offer teachers five opportunities to participate in Teach Teams. We're going to have the 101 plan, which is for teachers new to Teaching Channel, the 201 plan for teachers who already know how to use it and are comfortable with the platform, 301, which is a bit of a twist on Teams, it's for self-reflection, so it's for those of you who say, I'd rather do this process alone and really reflect on my own uh, instructional practice by watching videos of myself teaching, that's the 301 plan. 401 plan, for those of you who have colleagues in districts um, across Nassau, Suffolk County, or other parts of the state who are using Teach Teams and you want to collaborate with those colleagues. And our 501 plan, which is going to specifically be used for teachers um, who are participating in K-8 to in the writing process training. So five options for next year. We're hoping you find one plan that really works for you. It was wonderful to actually see my colleagues that I speak to every single day teach because we never really have time to be in each other's classrooms. We plan together, we know what we're going to be doing together, but we're never together to watch each other. So that was wonderful. I'd go home at night and um, I'd sit back, you know, on the couch and, and watch um, a couple of the videos that I had taken of the kids. And you see things, things pop up at you that you just didn't realize during class. So Especially for a young teacher like myself, it was a great opportunity for me and I would definitely do that again does give you the ownership of your professional development. You could essentially do it at home in your pajamas, which is what's so wonderful about it. Coming from an athletic background, we always, we always are, teach ourselves to watch ourselves swing a bat or watch ourselves shoot to make, our, make sure our form is correct. And we oftentimes don't think about that with teaching, but watching yourself teach um, really has allowed me to pick up on things that I've done um, in a class. It allows me to see, you know, analyze my wait time and analyze the questions I'm asking and where I'm moving around the room. And, and it has allowed me to kind of take a, a, a critiquing perspective of my, own, um, of my own teaching skills. The hardest part of this was getting over watching yourself on the camera. Once you got over the fact that yeah, you look, you know, you need to lose that extra five pounds and you got past that, then you could uh, really get into what you were, what, how you look and what the kids see and, and, you know, how you're coming across. Sometimes you don't realize how you're coming across to the children. Our teach team, I just found videotaping in general to be a very valuable tool um, just so that I can do more and more reflecting on my practice. I, now I'm happy. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a great way to earn my PDP and I could mold it to what I wanted it to be. I don't think you ever really know what you sound like to the children mm -hmm. until you see yourself on a videotape. Each team's rock. 
Thank you. We want to thank everyone who took part uh, in participating in this promo video. Yeah. Thank you, Audrey Miller. And thank you in advance to everyone who's going to participate in a teach team this year. We know you're going to love it. Yeah. And if you have any questions, email Beth. All right. Email Jason. Mic drop. Teach teams. Mic drop. Oh. Of course, I couldn't do more. He's way cooler. Bye. <laughs>